Hello everyone. Good morning. It's time for the index weekend index analysis of Nifty. Okay. Normally I do it on Fridays, but since yesterday I was traveling, I'm doing it now. Before I go ahead with the analysis, a quick disclaimer that this analysis is purely for educational purposes only, and I can be totally wrong. That said. Let me now go to the analysis. As you all know, I always do the analysis on higher time frame, which is the weekly time frame. So the chart you are seeing is the weekly chart of Nifty. Okay. Now the I will continue the analysis what I have been doing for the past few weeks. Okay. So just to remind you, what I have been doing in the past is I. Drew this the first this big pitchfork the blue one that you see is the bigger pitchfork connecting the highs and lows of the 2008 collapse. Okay. Now maybe I will hide that. The next what I did is I drew another pitchfork connecting the highs and lows of the 2020 collapse, COVID collapse. Okay. This black one. This is the uh, pitchfork. And then I duplicated that pitchfork, cloned it. So you have two pitchforks, one over the other. Now let me bring up the big one, okay, the yellow one, the blue one. Okay. Now you have these three pitchforks. Now what I have been saying for the past few weeks, which I will repeat again this week. See this zone, which I will zoom for you. This zone, I will bring up this small rectangle. See this box. Okay. See this. What happened in the past in 2021? Uh, Nifty consolidated in a tight range between these zones. Okay, between these two uh, medians. Okay, this zone, and then we had a big breakout of a rally of 3,000 points in a matter of three months. So this is what happened in the past. Now we are again at the same zone. I will bring up another rectangle. See, this is again another box. Can you see the similarity? So the same uh, zone between the two medians. Now again, the Nifty is consolidating. Okay, can you see that? Last already five six weeks. In fact, last week it went out of the box. Huh? So I felt a little concerned. But I also said in the in my last week analysis that it is highly probable that it will come back into the rectangle, into the zone. Into the box this week, so and see this is what happened this week. We are back inside this box. So, uh, so what uh, I am still having hopes that what I predicted will happen. My prediction is that after this consolidation, which could happen for a few more weeks, also possible, and these up and down movements could happen, it will ultimately break out of this box and head higher to touch that chart. Touch this black line, which is about a three thousand point rally, okay, which could come in about three months. This is what I have been saying, because history repeats itself. That is the basic premise of chart analysis. You look at the past history and predict what will happen in the future. That's what I am doing. So after this consolidation is over, we are going to have a massive rally of three thousand points. This is what I have been saying, and I continue to say the. Same thing. Okay. Now uh, let me continue the analysis. I will hide all this for now. I will give you more confluences to support my bullish analysis. Okay. Now I will first do the Elliott analysis from Elliott perspective. Okay. Now this wave that you see, we had since 2020 low. We had a massive rally. Everybody knows that, no? so you can think of this as a as a, a first wave, let's say, okay, a big impulse, and then we had a correction. This is the correction phase. Maybe I can take you to the daily chart, so you can see the waves clearly. So we had this correction. This type of correction, if you have some knowledge of uh, Elliott, this is called a W X Y. Correction or 
some people call it uh, doubler correction or some people call it double zigzag correction means this is one zigzag a b c one zigzag then you have this one way this is called the x way and then we have another a b c a b c this is the second zigzag so that's why people call it as double zigzag correction or w x y so this is w this is x this is y this i have said even in my my previous videos if you watch my previous videos I had said that this W X Y correction is over here, so we had a big massive wave and a correction. This correction, if you see, is very shallow. If you, it is less than thirty-eight percent, so it is considered as a very shallow, which means bullishness is very much intact. What you have to see is, see this big impulse is a big bullish move, so that means the bullishness is very much there. and this small the, the in, in terms of this big move this correction is very 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 shallow that shows that bullishness is intact you have to understand chart analysis is like that that means we are going to see great highs this is my impression okay let me now continue so i what i was saying is the second wave correction is over here and we have been having this up and down moves but basically in uptrend can you see that higher high higher low structure okay so this is the uh, third wave or uh, you can even think of it as a c wave supposing you see this as an a wave this as a b wave this could be a c wave impulse c wave is also an impulse please please remember it's a five wave impulse so from that point of view also you can have the bullishness now what i am going to show you is see this this trend line this red trend line okay It's a trend line. You can see the strong trend line connecting the highs. It was a resistance here, then it broke out here, and it is now coming back for retest. Normally, if you people who have some knowledge of Elliott uh, wave analysis will know that normally a wave, for example, if you 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 can think of this as an A wave. See, this is A B C. This is one wave. You can think of it as an A wave or a one wave, whichever way you call it. Okay, it's a minor wave. This is the major wave. what we are now talking here is a minor wave so this is an a uh, a wave like if you think of it as an a wave this is a b wave which has ended right at the trend line so we are going to have a c wave c wave or third wave whichever way you call it the point is we are going to have an impulse move which will go past this 21k which i have been saying is going to come believe me it's going to come okay now some more confluences you are you know i am very fond of confluences so i will show you more more confluences now this pitchfork see this is one pitchfork this pitchfork is called the shif pitchfork which i have drawn connecting the the keys key uh, swing points or okay pivots you can see again how this last few days We we were taking support at the median of this pitchfork. Okay, one more I will bring up. This is called the A V W anchored volume weighted average price. This is a moving average, with, but volume weighted, which I have anchored it at the recent low, swing low, the end of the second wave. Okay, and you can notice how this is also lining up here. one more i will bring up another pitchfork connecting the same swing point swing points okay this is also a pitchfork okay but this one is a normal pitchfork or andros pitchfork the previous one was a shift one now this is a normal one see the lower median of the normal pitchfork is also going there okay how things are falling in place this is what you need to notice okay the chart is nifty is communicating to you i have made the low here that's what it say okay okay now uh, la last one i will show you the what is happening it's not working sometimes it's not picking up very much okay i wanted to show you 
the Fibonacci it is exactly 38.2 percent okay okay leave it now I have shown you so many confluences so I am dead certain that nifty has made its low so it is heading up now let's discuss the likely targets okay I will draw a channel like this. What is happening? Yeah, sorry. Okay, a, a channel like this. Okay, you can see how the the, the previous sell-off happened right at the median. Can you see that? Okay. So it has come to the bottom of the channel. Now the, the first uh, challenge, if I may call it, is the median. Okay. So it will head up to the same median, something like 18,300. A little bit about this one, maybe I can do it. So it will head back to the median. See 18,294,300, whatever. That's where it is heading up now. So may find some resistance. Okay, some selling could come. And then it will head higher. Now, what will be the next level? Here, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a cipher pattern. Okay. So to show that, I will do the retracement first. See 38.2. Let me remove. Let's keep 78.6. Now I am seeing this as a cipher pattern. I will bring up this pattern, cipher pattern. The beautiful cipher pattern. X A B C D. Okay. The D point is coming at 18,516. That will be the the next target. Okay. Means. It will first hit the red line median. Some selling could come, which will get absorbed. It will head higher and it will go to the D point of this pattern, okay, which is 18,560. Then again, some selling could come. Then again, it will move. The next target will be the top of this channel, okay, 19,480, 90. I have been saying 19.5 as a target. People who have been watching me regularly. They can understand that I have been giving a target of 19,500 for the Nifty. So, so that is going to happen. Okay, all this will happen. All these are hurdles. Whatever I am showing you is the the hurdles ahead. Okay, it is not going to go straight there. All these hurdles it has to cross, and it will go there. Then again, some selling come, and again it will go. It will go to 21k. This is how I am seeing the future trajectory. So I hope you liked my analysis. If you do so, please give me a thumbs up and share my videos with your friends. And if you have any comments, do let me know. Thank you very much.